Today on Garden Fork, learn how to prevent the squash vine borer. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. Today, we're gonna to talk about planting squash and combating or eliminating the squash vine borer from ruining your squash plants. Uh, last year, we made a video on Garden Fork about the squash vine borer and once it's in your plant, how to get it out. You can watch that one by clicking on the link. And now I wanna show you how to deter or prevent the squash vine borer moth. It's a moth. Uh, the, I can't remember the name of the moth, of course. I'll put it here. But they will lay their eggs at the base of your squash plant here and then the egg hatches and burrows into the stem of your squash and as the squash grows this basically pupae and caterpillar eats through the inside of your plant and kills it. You'll notice this kind of orangey sawdust looking stuff along the base of the stem and the plant will look really weak and that's your problem. So by using this method I've learned from Priscilla, our neighbor by the way, you'll learn how to do this. First, these are squash seedlings or transplants. You can also start from seed. You know, depending on who you ask, whether seedlings work better or transplants, I think it's 50-50, but these were at the stores, so I bought them. You will also need floating row fabric. Uh, a commercial name is called Rime. There's a tick crawling right there, very nice. That's about tick number five for me today. Floating row fabric, some stones, or a bucket of dirt. This is some wire that's been formed into these little half circle hoops. These I bought, but you can make these out of some wire you have laying around. And we're gonna push them into the soil. I like to use this weed-free fabric, by the way. We made a video about that as well. But take these hoops of wire and stick them in the ground. So I'm doing these for each individual plant, and so we did a crisp cross pattern here. We have one hoop going this way, one going this way, across each plant. Now take your fabric and cover each little cross hoop thing you've made over each plant. Or you could do like a tunnel, you know, like a poly tunnel kind of thing. You could line them all up and just have one long thing, a rime, uh, the, what's the stuff called? The, the stuff, the spun bonded plant row cover stuff. Then seal the edges of each plant with dirt, like that. All right, there you go. Squash vine borer prevention method. If you really like what you're watching here, click on the subscribe button because we have something out every week. And you want to keep this cover on until you see the first flowers and then let it off. This cover, by the way, lets in moisture. So when it rains, it goes in there, waters the plant. So you're okay. You can also water right through that stuff. So, if you like what you're seeing here, would you leave a comment or a review on the site? We also have our internet radio show, Garden Fork Radio, a bunch of other cool stuff on our site. We're on Facebook, iTunes, YouTube, Google, Pinterest, and whatever other social network's been invented since then. And if you have some comments, let me know. I'd like to hear from you, eric at gardenfork.tv. And if you can sign up for our newsletter, that is news at gardenfork.tv. All right, make it a great day. I'll see you.